a dream of red mansions. Lady Wang was talking to Jia Zheng about the idea of Bao Yu marrying Bao Chai. Jia Zheng said, "If we were to send the, if we were to send the engagement engagement gifts soon, and then the wedding gifts in the spring, we could arrange we could organize the wedding for just after the Lady Dowager's birthday." Lady Wang visited Aunt Xu the following morning to discuss this proposal. And once Aunt Xu agreed, both women went to see the Lady Dowager. Shortly after the Lady Dowager had given her blessing to this plan, Bao Yu entered. The room, and everyone suddenly stopped talking. Bao Yu sat down, but found that Aunt Xu was being unusually cool with him. So he returned to school more than a little confused. So, a、uh, lady Dowage and they they discuss about uh, uh, a wedding plan of with Bao Chai. And、uh, Bao Yu came in, and found that、uh, they were talking, and they suddenly stopped. There must be something strange. Anyway, nobody talked to him, so he left, went to school, but feel just、uh, very confused. Something is brewing. He kind of smelled the rat. After school, Bao Yu visited Dai Yu and talked about his strange morning in the Lady Dowager's room. Sometimes I do not understand. I was put on this earth. Sometimes, I sometimes think everyone would be happier if I just disappeared. He said, "No one can survive alone." Dai Yu replied. But sometimes it seems that others come only to test us. I am sure Aunt Xu did not mean to act so strangely to you. She was probably just preoccupied with worrying about the court case. Bao Yu smiled. Yes, I think you must be right. Thank you for putting my mind at peace, at rest. So she went to school. She、uh, so he went to school. So he Bao Yu went to school and came back. He went to his little girl friend, friend Dai Yu, and they discuss what is going on. This seems so strange. And Dai Yu said, "Well, it's okay. Maybe, maybe Aunt Xu has something."、Uh, Particular, so you know.、Mm-hmm. Okay, page page one hundred eighty eight. Every year on the same day, on the first day of the eleventh month, the Lady Dowager held a party to ward off colds. On the morning of that date, Bao Yu arrived at the Lady Dowager's quarters to find that he was earlier than everyone else, and that the only other person there was Qiao Qiao Jie, was Qiao Jie, Xi Feng's daughter, who had been brought to give her to give her regards to the Lady Dowager. Qiao Jie told Bao Yu that Xi Feng was not very satisfied with her literacy, so wondered whether un- Uncle Bao Yu could help her if he could spare the time. Bao Yu agreed to mentor her and began to and began by going over the lives of the Chester Marty. The lives. Of Chen, of Chen, Chen's mother, the life of Chen's mother. 
宝玉还是。偷听 ，you you can do 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 do. I'm not listening well. I'm not good at reading. And Pao Yu came too early. The Lady Dowager soon became bored of waiting for the party to begin, and sent her servants out to hurry the others, to hurry the other guests. Li Wan and her sisters soon came in, and were quickly joined by Tan Chun, Xi Chun, uh, Xiang Yun, and Dai Yu. Aunt Xue was particularly late, and only arrived when the servants went to call her once again. With her came Bao Qin. But、uh, there was no sign of Bao Chai. Dai Yu asked whether Bao Chai was, and Aunt Xue replied, replied that she was too ill to attend the party. Though Bao Yu was at first concerned about Bao Chai, he soon forgot her when he began talking with Dai Yu. So Bao Chai, so Lady Dowager. Had a party. Everyone was not coming early enough, and Lady Dowage asked everyone to ask her servants to call everyone in. And uh, and uh, Aunt Xue said, uh, uh, Bao Chai was ill, and Bao Yu was caring about him, but、uh, he started to talk with Dai Yu and forgot all about. Oh, that is a new chapter. Okay, shall we do it? Let's do it. Page one hundred eighty-nine. One day, when Jia Zheng was engrossed in a game of go with one of his secretaries, Feng Ziying. Feng Ziying arrived to show him some of the gifts he had brought back from foreign lands, thinking that they might impress the officials in the imperial court. He sat down a brocade. He sat down a brocade box, which was covered in the finest pale silk, and opened. To reveal a sparkling pearl that was as big as a lychee, lychee. Wow! Feng Ziying told Jia Zheng that it was known as a mother pearl, oh, since it attracted smaller pearls. He then、uh, demonstrated this by pouring a number. Of tiny pearls onto the table around the mother pearl, and the two men watched as they were all magni mag mag magni magnetically poured onto the mother pearl and stuck to its side. Oh, wow! Feng Ziying then ordered his servant to bring. To bring over his rosewood box, which he opened to reveal a curtain made of transparent gauze, he assured Jia Zheng that not only was it light and beautiful, but that it would also keep out all the flies. And mosquitoes during the hot summer months, Feng Ziying stated that he would sell Jia Zheng both of those things, along with a precious clo- clock and a screen, for only twenty thousand pieces of silver. Jia Zheng shook his head and told him that it was all too expensive for them. However, he did concede to let Jia Lian take the gauze and、uh, the mother pearl to show the Lady Dowage. Jia Lian returned after only a few minutes to say that she was not interested. So.
So someone show uh, Feng Ziying show him this all these beautiful things, and uh, Jia Zheng let Jia Lian to show Lady Dowager, and she was not interested. Page 190. One day, a tall, bearded man with broad shoulder and a low forehead arrived at the mansion, carrying a letter from his master, Zheng Yingjia. Zheng Yingjia. Zheng Yingjia. Zheng Yingjia. Jia Zheng. Zheng Yingjia. Zhen Yingjia, Jia Zheng read the letter and found that Zhen Yingjia had been found guilty of a crime, and as a result, he had had his property confiscated. He therefore wrote to ask the Jia family to take in his servant, whose name was Bao Yong. Bao Yong, Bao, Bao. Bao Yong, Bao Yong, Bao Yong, 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 Bao Yong, Yong, Bao Yong, Bao Yong, Bao Yong. After he finished reading, Jia Zheng said, Bao Yong, your master should have been more careful than than to let himself get caught up in such difficulties. Bao Yong responded. Please forgive me, sir, but I have to disagree. Be I believe my master got in trouble only because he is too kind to others and always treat them with respect and honesty. Jia Zheng nodded before saying, You may go and rest for a while now. When I think of a job that suits you, the servants will call for you. Page 191, Jia Zheng was leaving the house, leaving the house early one morning when he spotted his servants talking in hushed whisper at the gate. He asked them what was going on, and uh, they handed him a note that had been pasted, that had been pasted to the gate. It read, the young su supervisor, the young supervisor, Jia Qin, has gone to the Moon Water Covent, where he is the only man among so many women. Where he is the only man among so many women. While he drinks, gambles, and misuses the woman there, the name of the Rong mansion suffers. Jia Zheng became very angry and called for Jia Lian to interrogate him about Jia Qin. Jia Qin, 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 Jia Qin. Just then, along came Jia Rong, Jia Rong with a private letter for Jia Zheng, which turned out to contain another copy of the anonymous an note they had found on the gate. Jia Zheng, which turned out to contain another copy of the anonymous note they had found on the gate. Jia Zheng ordered Lai Da. Jia Zheng ordered Lai Da to take a number of carriages to the covent to bring back all the novices. Do not tell anyone about these letters. Say instead that they are needed back at the mansion. Oh, so only one. Mm -hmm. 